my flag went down. Dun. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back for another video. So this is a video that I was talking to you guys about in my last vlog. Today we're going to be talking about holsters and nothing else. Um, well, mostly nothing else. We're going to be focused on holsters themselves. So, the holster that I picked up the other day from my buddy Levi, um, I'm going to have the link down in the description. Uh, Concho Valley Custom Kydex. I said it right this time. Concho Valley Custom Kydex. Um, that's my Kydex guy. Every time I need a holster, anytime I need something, that is my go-to guy. He's locally here where I'm at, but from my understanding, he does uh, ship them out to people. I know he's done you know, all over Texas. I'm not sure if he's gone out of state yet, but you guys can contact him, find out more information. So this is what I'm calling my summertime rig. This, I didn't really want to bring in any other holsters that I've talked about in the past, because if you watch my other videos, I've already talked about them, I've already reviewed them, I've already you know, kind of shown what they are. But the reason I'm going to show you guys a different holster, one that I've talked about in a different video, is because this was my this is my favorite holster that he had made for me and I don't I don't want to say that this one is my new favorite but they're very similar if you can tell so this here set this down real quick so this here is my Glock 43 fully customized top to bottom it is loaded so we're just gonna be very careful with it not point it at myself not touch the trigger but I went with a black and red theme on this I have the red Terran Tactical um, extended magazine uh, plates down here. But I went with black and red all over this thing, and I talked to Levi and I said, look man, I really want a holster that holds an extra magazine. I want it black and red, what can you do for me? And I kind of left it up to him at that point, and this is what we came up with. And if you guys watch my other video, you guys know that this magazine holder actually comes off, it's got a couple screws. I have another belt clip where I can make this its own belt clip and I can have it separate from the setup or I can have it just the way I have it now inside the waistband or flip these buckles over and make this an outside the waistband it's just I can do so much with this one holster and this gun so that was my favorite holster and probably still is my favorite holster but that was that now a Glock 43 is really good like I said I can carry this most of the time but hotter days when I'm wearing lighter clothes or not as much and I want to be able to conceal even more I have a little Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380. Six rounds, one in the chamber. I like to carry this, and I usually carry this in my back pocket. It's usually a back pocket gun, and if you guys watch my EDC video, you, you guys know that I have a pocket holster that I usually just throw it in my back pocket and I get going. But I'm a huge fan of appendix carry. I love to appendix carry. I love having that option. I just didn't have a holster that I could really do that with. So. I wanted this one to mimic that one, and it does, I mean, to a T. It's an inside the waistband. You got the clips here. I can switch them over, put them over on this side, and make it an outside the waistband if I want it to be. I got an extra magazine sitting here. Same thing. It's got the screws here where I can take this off. I have an extra belt clip, and, you know, I can separate that from the holster, or I can leave it like this, and I have my retention screw. Um, Levi, I don't know, if, I mean... Obviously, I know he knows what he's doing, but every time that I've gotten a holster, I've never had to adjust this retention screw because it's just perfect. Um, it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to shake out of place. I'm not going to lose that gun. Got really good retention. And that little click right there, that Kydex click, perfect every time. So this is my new holster, and this is what I wanted to show you guys and what I wanted to talk about. Um, kind of really quick, off topic. This week is police week. I was going to change the flag behind me. I have the Texas Thin Blue Line flag. But considering it is police week and I'm an officer here in Texas, I just thought it was fitting, so I left it up. And it just kind of worked out perfect the way this came in because we have the, I think he said it was called Officer Blue, and I'm not 100% sure, but it's Officer Blue, if I'm not mistaken. So it's got blue on the inside and black on the outside something a little bit different something fairly minimal but I like for myself to be a little bit different a little bit out of the ordinary something that not everybody has and Levi does a great job of making sure one it's functional 
Two, it looks good. And three, he, he's just always kept me happy with everything that he's made for me. So like I said, this was my new holster. This is what I really wanted to show you guys. The other thing that I did was I reached out to Levi and I said, look, I want to make another video talking about your holsters. I, if you guys remember, if you're new to my channel, check my old videos. And I made a, a review talking about some of my holsters that I had before. And you can see some of the other holsters that I'm not going to talk about in this video, but some of the other holsters that Levi's made for me. I can't even count how many he's made for me at this point, but I have different stuff that, that he's done. And, you know, I contact him and, and he makes it no issues. This video, I wanted to kind of, one, show you guys the new holster, and two, show you kind of some of the stuff that he can do. Now, he has so many people buying these holsters. He makes them, ships them out, makes them, ships them out. People, he's delivering all the time. Um, so he, it's not like he has a, a huge inventory of product that he can say, look, here, show these guys this. So it's, it's a little bit harder for me to get my hands on some of the stuff because, like I said, he's, he's shipping them out and getting them to customers as quick as he does. But I could at least show you guys mine. And like I said, I'm, I only showed you the other red and black holster just so you guys could see what this one was based off of. It's just a smaller version of that. This is my summertime rig. This is my swimming pool rig, beach time rig. I can throw this on with board shorts and not worry about it pulling my shorts down and cover it with a t-shirt, a tank top, and, and you'll never know I have this gun. Um, obviously, if I'm going places, I want to make sure that this gun is secure, but that's a whole other topic in itself. This is just kind of one of those, if I'm out and about and I'm not wearing as much clothing as I would be on a normal day, on a cool day, or definitely not on a uh, winter's day, I can go to something like this. Perfect concealment every time. And Levi does it's gonna be kind of hard to capture this on video but he's got that perfect body curve right there every time I put a holster on from him it just fits perfect I don't have to some holsters that I've gotten in the past and I won't name companies but I've gotten these holsters and I get a blow dryer and I heat them up and I bend them and I have to kind of form fit them to me I've never had that issue when I get a holster from Levi I get a holster and it's perfect every time I throw it on and I'm ready to go the day I got this holster I was going to carry a bigger gun, but just so I can get used to this and so I can get used to how comfortable this was and how it was going to feel, I threw this on and I wore it, I think it was eight or nine hours before I came back home and took it off. But this thing felt exactly like the holster for my Glock 43. And the reason that's important for me is I don't want to keep changing where I have a gun. I, I like that muscle memory. If I'm somewhere and I need to get to that gun quick, I like going to the same place every time. My body is trained to go down, come up, go down, come up when I'm off duty. Now when I'm on duty, of course I have a gun on my three o'clock, on my duty belt, on the outside. But when I'm off duty, I know, lift my shirt, pull my gun out. If all of my holsters are, are similar in the setup and the placement, it makes it that much easier for me to transition from one gun to the next. And that's what I've gotten from Levi. I've gotten a product that I can change different sizes of guns, different you know styles, everything, and I still have that same comfortable holster, same reliable holster that I can go to every single time, muscle memory, muscle memory, and I don't have to worry about learning where this gun is now, or oh it's hot today, now I have to get used to pulling from this side or that side, and so that's one thing that I love about this uh, one I, company and, and this holster in general. Like I said, it's just so much similar to my Glock 43 holster, and that's exactly what I wanted. Different in its own right, but so much similar, so when I need it, it's there. Now, the other things I wanted to show you guys, this one is has two layers here. This is uh, white on the outside. He can do little designs, different stuff like that. Before, he had a laser engraver, and I think that his laser engraver has not been working here recently, unfortunately, but he would brand um, his logo or different little designs, stuff like that, kind of specific to the customer now this is my wife's Glock 43 and this is an inside the waistband it's got the little adjustable clip right here this one's very easy very simple if you're not necessarily used to carrying a gun and you don't want something big gun extra magazine and all these other things something like this is perfect very minimalistic put that in your waistband clip that to your belt and you're ready to go now this one Obviously, like I said, it's an inside the waistband. If you wanted to put it as an outside the waistband, technically you could. It would be a left hand outside the waistband, but this is meant to be an inside the waistband for a right-handed shooter. 
So this one right here, very simple, very minimal. This is also for the Glock 43, it's a trigger guard cover. Now the cool thing about this one is, you can tie this off into the bottom of a purse, you can tie this off on your belt loop, put this in your pocket, um, put this in your vehicle, and on the hard point mounts where your seat is, tie this little string off, and as you draw this, it stays attached and your gun is ready to go. I love, love these things. Like I said, Levi made one of these for my wife, and my wife has this on her Glock 43. We did a different little version of it because it was going to be in and out of a purse at all times. I didn't want anything to get caught up in the muzzle or in that barrel. So the one that my wife has is a trigger guard, and it extends out, and it covers up the tip of that barrel so nothing gets jammed up in there. Um, but awesome, awesome little product. Now, the other cool thing, unfortunately, I can't really show you guys the fitment of this holster. If I remember correctly... This holster is actually for like a Glock 19, Glock 23, uh, a gun of that size. Now, what he can do is make it to where it has this retention piece on it, push the button, flips down, draw your pistol, it's ready to go. Now, all my guns that are this size have lights and red dots and you guys have seen some of my guns and I, I, I go a little overboard with some of the stuff that I like on there because I just like that stuff personally. So I don't have a gun right now that's just stock that can fit this. But if it's anything like any of the other holsters, it's gonna fit perfect. I've never had an issue with fitment with anything. I mean, whether, it doesn't matter what kind of light I have, what kind of red dot, what kind of muzzle brake, what kind of barrel extension. I have guns that are just unique to me and he's been able to make a holster for every single one of them. So keep that in mind. It doesn't matter what kind of gun you have. If you get it to him so that he can use it as a reference, if he doesn't already have a template for it, he can make you any kind of holster and he does have different patterns and stuff like that that he can order and get that done for you. So this one has the uh, blade stick tile, sorry, blade tech style uh, belt clip. So you can slide that on, clip that in place. And like I said, it does have the retention hood on there. So very, very nice holster. The next thing I wanted to show you guys, I'm not going to put this on. This is uh, Levi's setup. So Levi does competition shooting. And if you look right here, there's his uh, logo right there really cool holster so this is a, a speed holster now he has a gen 4 glock 35 that we're going to talk about here in a second but he has this speed holster if you guys go online and look at these holsters for competitions hundreds of dollars is what they start at now i'm not going to get into pricing everything is a little bit different depending on what kind of gun you have depending on the style depending on you know how unique you want your holster to be but i can guarantee you you're not going to pay what you would pay for one of these huge name brands, whatever. And this thing is going to work just as well, if not better. Plus, you're supporting a, a small business. This side right here, all made by him. So it's got magazine uh, holsters there. And then he started doing three-gun competitions. So he's got two magazine holsters right there for uh, AR-15 mags. Very simple setup, very easy setup. But I really, really like this setup. I have my Glock 17C. Um, and if you guys watch my other videos, you'll check that out. I want to get a setup similar to this one for mine. And I want to start getting into the competition shooting, stuff like that. Levi's just beat me to it. He's gone out and he's been pretty successful in uh, going out and shooting. So I just wanted to kind of show you guys a few of the things that he can do. Again, he didn't ask me to do this. This is something that I wanted to do. I asked him if I can do this. Got his permission first and he said, yeah, that was fine. Um... Everything that I'm telling you guys, again, like I said, I'm not being paid for it. This isn't a sponsor, sponsorship by any means. The only discounts that I get are the, the discounts that he offers are law enforcement discounts. If you're law enforcement, you know anyone who's law enforcement, that's just an awesome deal. You know what I mean? For, for somebody to, to have our back like that and support us like that, I buy stuff all the time. I mean, I, I can't say enough good things about the product. The man himself, I mean, if I like the person then I'll definitely keep going back. But with this, it's really unique and really cool to me because I like the person and I like the product. Like I said in my last video, he's always gotten back to me right away. Really cool, really easy going guy. I can text this guy, email this guy. It doesn't matter, day, night. I bug him all the time and he's never complained. He's always gotten back to me and he'll, you know, we'll spitball different ideas on, hey, let's do this, let's do that. And we come up with some pretty cool stuff. So the other thing I wanted to show you guys, this thing is clear. This is Levi's personal gun. I asked him, hey man, do you have a couple of holsters that I can review or talk about? And unexpectedly, he brought me some holsters and he's like, hey man, here's my gun. So this is a really cool gun. 
<coughs> excuse me. If you look right there, it's got the initials to his company, Concho Valley Custom Kydex. It's got his logo right there. It's a gold or a bronze color, and it's weathered. Awesome, awesome looking gun. Not too much. I don't know the specifics on what exactly is done to this. I just know that it is a Glock 35 Gen 4 pistol. I know it has aftermarket sights on it. Outside of that, I don't know much about it. However, another cool thing I wanted to show you guys, this is the, the fitment of the, the gun in the holster. So if you look here, once that sits in there, all of this is open. You have your trigger protected, and then you have the tip of your barrel protected. Now, anyone who knows anything about you know, going out and doing competition shooting, you don't want to have a full holster covering all of this because when you draw, you have to come up all the way out of that holster, then you go on target. When you have a holster similar to this, the holster's on your hip. I'm going to try to get this in frame. The holster's on your hip, and it's easier to rock forward and come out and it's just so much quicker to do that than it is to come all the way up and then come out. So something you have to practice with, something that's a little bit different, but this is definitely effective. Now, if you guys are wondering where he got this work done, I'm gonna try to remember and I'll put it down in the description down below, but it's Sarah Coat Chick on Instagram and I believe she has a Facebook page as well. So I'll try to remember and I'll try to link her down in the bottom. Again, I'm not affiliated with her. I don't have any personal work done from her. I've heard a lot of good things. I've seen some of her stuff on Instagram. She does great work, and this is a perfect example of it. Something simple, something not too extraordinary, but I mean, it just looks amazing. This gun just looks nice. It's a nice spin on a Glock, you know what I mean? It's something, I obviously like things to be custom. I like them to be different. So I definitely like this. So Levi, again, thank you very much, man. I can't say thank you enough for all the things that you do and all the holsters that you've got me. I love them. The hardest thing for me, I joke about it in my videos, but the, one of my hardest decisions that I make is trying to figure out what gun I want to carry that day. And with all the holsters that I have, that just adds to the issue of, okay, what do I want to carry today? Because I have a holster for everything now. And some of these guns that are just one-off guns or fully custom guns that I'm not going to find a holster anywhere for, you know, I'm like, well, I can't carry that. I don't have a holster. All I got to do is send a text, let him know, look, I need a holster for this. If it's something I need to give him my gun, I give him my gun. He makes the holster, gets it back to me. Or if it's something he has, he just tells me, hey, give me a second. I'll get it back to you. He'll text me. He's brought it to me. I've had issues, you know, where I'm rough on my gear and I break a clip or something will happen. And I text him, hey, man, my bad. And he's like, no, man, don't worry about it. And he will meet me wherever I'm at and replace the part. You know, and I've offered, hey man, how much you want? You know, I'll give you that. No, don't worry about it. You know, and I cannot be happier with the man, the product, the customer service, just awesome, awesome product. So that's why I wanted to not, not only make a video, but make another video talking about how much I like this product, how much I like this man, how much I support this. If you guys don't already follow his page, go and check out his page. Like I said, you will not be disappointed. Everything on there, beautiful, beautiful work great work like i said i have not had an issue with anything i've been ordering holsters for them for a long while now now i came up with this idea and i think i'm going to stick to this so as of right now i'm at 86 subscribers on youtube so i'm at i'm 14 away from being at 100 so i was thinking of when i hit 100 subscribers i wanted to do something kind of personal kind of like a thank you to you guys for checking out my videos watching my videos sharing my videos so my plan is when I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to put out a video shortly after hitting 100 showing that I hit 100 subscribers. On that video, I'm going to have more instructions, but what I want you to do is comment down below. I want you to like that video, and then at that point, I'm going to do a drawing. Levi doesn't know this yet, but I'm going to do a drawing. At that point, whoever wins the drawing is going to receive one of my decals that my buddy Frank made for me, my JLV86 decal, and you let me know what kind of gun you have. I'll talk to Levi. And I'll get a, a custom holster made for you, and I will pay for it out of my pocket. So, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, subscribe to my channel. If you know anybody who likes guns, holsters, stuff like that, have them subscribe to my channel. Have them come check out my videos. I do weekly vlogs. I do some gun reviews and, and just talk about different products that I have bought. Um, products on a budget, builds on a budget. I've got 1911s, Glocks, rifles, shotguns, you name it. I've got a little bit of everything, so I try to talk about everything. The other thing I'm going to try to do 
is I'm going to try to come up with a more disciplined schedule. I know today, well, at least for me, today is Monday. I'm filming this. But I want to try to put out a gun-related video every Friday. So all my other videos will stay the same as far as my weekly vlogs. I'll do those accordingly. As I do things, I'll post those videos. But every Friday, somewhere around noon time frame, maybe a little bit later, but every Friday at least, I want to put out a gun-related video, whether it's talking about a new gun, a new product, a trigger, a holster. Now, with YouTube, I am a little bit limited on some of the stuff that I can do, but that's not going to stop us. We're going to continue to push forward. We're going to continue to make these videos. So if there's something that you guys want to see, a product you want me to review, let me know. Um, if you know of any companies that may want their stuff reviewed, smaller companies, you know, they have gun products or gun related stuff or just anything tactical related, let me know. I'll contact them. We'll see if we can't get some of the products sent to us so we can try out, test, review. I am going to have a range video coming up soon. This next week I'm going to Florida. So be on the lookout for that video. I'll be showing you guys what we're going to be doing out there. But the whole meat and potatoes of this video was these holsters. I love these holsters. I stand behind these holsters 100%. So make sure you guys go and check out Concho Valley Custom Kydex. Check them out on Instagram. Check them out on Facebook. Go shoot them a message. Send them a, you know, whether it's a Facebook message, Instagram message, whatever. Let them know that you saw this video. Let them know how much you support him so that he can keep doing what he's doing and keep making these holsters. And like I said... 100 subscribers is what I'm looking for. It's 14 away. That's not that much. 100 subscribers. We'll have a drawing, at least of right now, that we'll have the decal, and I will pay for a custom holster made by Levi at Concho Valley Custom Kydex. There may be more to come on that. Just stay tuned. But as always, guys, thank you guys for watching. Go order you a holster.